Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Brown House Experience. I am your host, Donnell Brown, and this is my beautiful and always inspirational co-host, Tia Brown. And you are watching Pat TV on Can TV, Channel 21. I can't forget the other half of our team in the back, and Nicole Scott, and we got Trey Brown on the stats. And you can check us out online anytime if you want to at www.cantv.org forward slash hotline. All right, if you want to call in, have something to say, which we, you should have something Especially to say today, today. is 312-738-1060. All right, we got a great show lined up for you today. Tia, tell us what we got in store. So first, of course, I hope you all enjoyed our Urban Engineering Night. We showed a video of our Zoom to the Finish Line station. So in that station, the uh, participants were able to create cars out of Legos themselves and we made a ramp for it and they had races and it was a great time with the kids and that is our actual our next event coming up in March our urban engineering night it will be our second annual urban engineering night so check out our website for more information about that today we have some lovely guests we have from our heart Chicago so this organization I'm going to let them tell you about this organization. So they do a lot of things in Chicago for our homeless community. So we wanted to highlight them on our last show. I don't know if my husband mentioned that. Did he mention that this is our uh, last no, show? No, I didn't. But yeah, last episode we did kind of talk about how it was the last show. So we wanted to uh, bring some people in from the community that's, you know, helping out the community. Later on the show we got some things to talk about and discuss too as well. So Yes. So we want to welcome to the stage... She's actually, lovely, is actually my cousin. We want to welcome to the stage both Lovely and Candice from From Our Hearts, Chicago. Oh, we're having some technical difficulties as you all are used to anyway. joining us today so first I want you all to introduce yourselves and you all could take over and tell us a little bit about your organization why you all started it where the idea came from take well I'm on. Candace of course and this is my good friend lovely hi <laughs> um in about Thanksgiving of 2016 lovely called well over the years she'll find a family to cook for and she'll find all of her friends that can cook a dish <laughs> Because I can't cook, you guys. So <laughs> have a meal for the one family. So 2016, she says, Candace, I need you to help and make cook for Thanksgiving. And then she paused and said, 400 people. Okay. 100 people. 100, 100 people. people. Okay. It ended up being 150. But that's kind of like how it came together, yes. us doing it together. Move your seat down a little bit, Ken. I love you. Right on the side. Push it, push the things. Yeah. Power over. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you all. Sorry for that. We had to get it together up here. So go ahead. So, uh, from our hearts, Chicago was founded in 2017 uh, and incorporated in 2017. Uh, we basically provide to the homeless that sleeps on the streets of Chicago. So granted, there are shelters, but there's also homeless people who sleep on the streets who don't come inside. So for those that are sleeping on the streets, we like to provide them with basic necessities. So things that we take for granted on a daily basis from your toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, uh, hand sanitizer, lip balm, things of that nature. So what we do is we basically gather the items together and we make what we call love bags. 
um, and we basically just use a gallon size bag and we put all the items in there and the reason to why we do it this way and why we use the travel sizes is because as the homeless explained to us previously that when the city of Chicago comes through and move them it's easier to have something that they can carry with them and just go opposed to having big bulky things that they can't get rid of right. so that's the reason to why we use the love bags and why we use these smaller items mm -hmm. um, also, uh, in regards to From Our Hearts Chicago, we are a non for profit, uh, so we don't get paid for this, uh, and we don't, how can I say, we don't, we use the community to help us with this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, therefore, you know, family, friends, strangers, anyone that wants to get involved uh, can get involved with us, whether it's um, giving products for us to pass out. Uh, Basically volunteering, helping cook, helping bag the products because they need to be bagged. Uh, but anytime we're cooking, you know, we need volunteers for things of that nature as well. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I have one question for Candace. I want to hear the rest of this story. And it actually goes with my next question. How have you all positively impacted the community? And you were telling about her calling to tell you to cook for 100 people was right that for the community yes yes <laughs> that was that was the first to us together packing up and going out so we end up cooking what 150, 150 people yeah 150 oh. platters that was thanksgiving 2016 along with the warm items so we'll have this it had hat, hats gloves scarves socks awesome. Yeah. And small blankets. Yeah. Right. That's dope. And so Blanket. that was the start of it. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. And it's a great story. Thank to you. start off with, I don't know what I would do if Nicole called me and said, uh, <laughs> cook let's cook people. for 100 people and then it turned out to be 150 people. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So what's some major challenges that you've encountered so far with your nonprofit? Um, I would say the challenges are to just get people to continually give. Uh, get people to continually participate, spread the word, reposting, things of that nature uh, can be second nature to those if it's not their organization or if it's not something that's heavy on their heart. Mm -hmm. uh, so things like that are a bit challenging, um, which we are learning. Getting volunteers, that's easy. <laughs> uh, that That's not easy. You mean that's that's easy, but trying to get the funds to do yeah. things trying to get people to donate the items oops is <laughs> yeah that's that's the challenge because at the end of the day if it's not on somebody's heart they're not going to remember to do it they're not going to remember when they wake up in the morning let me make sure i repost from our hearts chicago right you know right. Uh, Post. And that stuff matters. You know, and it right. just takes two seconds to share that. Exactly. Yeah. So that's just one of the biggest challenges. Other than that, I mean, I personally don't see any other challenges. Uh, probably getting Candace to come over and help make them bags. Well, she's yeah. So far. Well, hopefully she's we good. have some more people that we try to <laughs> Look, got to get her on the spot, right? <laughs> right. We have a that's caller, like actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Nicole, can you put the caller through, please? Caller, we can hear you. Um, yes, I wanted to ask uh, Candace, how long does it take for you guys to get ready for a project, and when is your next project? The next project, we actually just moved to January 20th, 20th. which we've already started gathering um, items and everything for the love bags to go out. And she's you want to know how long does it generally take us right. to gather yeah, the like items? So for your January project, how long do you, how far in advance do you start collecting items? Generally two to three months, we, we yeah, try we to put it out that. there. Yeah. And then as it gets closer, we really start pushing the flyer more or less and the actual items that we're collecting because some people would rather just donate the items themselves. So roughly about two to three months. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. So, what has been your most memorable moment thus far? Miss Diane. <laughs> you know I was going to say that. Yeah. I love Miss Diane. Where did we meet her? We met her when we did the Subway sandwiches. So, right. Miss Diane is uh, one of the homeless people that we provide 
necessities too and yeah. we first met her back i want to say it had to be in a, it was in february it was in yeah and we were underneath one of the viaducts up north but and they've closed down and gated off since then yeah so we found her uh they set up like over the park under the, a bridge yeah so they actually set up church over there anything going on with the homeless miss diane no right with the, <laughs> and we nicknamed knows, her security yes because <laughs> she like get back y'all in their space let them do what they do like she is so that is she type. homeless yeah. she is yeah oh, she is when okay. the city shut down like the homeless under the uh underpasses mm -hmm. up north like montrose such and such she knew like who went to jail who <laughs> got help she knew yeah. she knows she knew everything, everything with yeah. the homeless yeah so she's able to help you all locate people also she'll she tell, will us, tell us yes. where to go if yeah. we yeah. ask about a certain person or where's everybody at now like oh they do church at this time they here they they coming back from the sh every she know everything that's i cool. love it i'm glad that you all have relationships that's dope all in itself that you all are building relationships with people who normally people would look down on them mm -hmm. yeah. so the fact that that you all are showing them love and genuine love and showing that people do genuinely care yeah. about those who are less fortunate than us and who knows because they may be happier than some of us because you yeah. just because you don't have materialistic things doesn't necessarily mean that you're mm -hmm. uh, unhappy but right. <laughs> So what do you all have coming up? I know you told the caller about your um, event coming up in, on January 20th. What else? It's around MLK. Yeah, so right. we have uh, coming up January 20th, which was actually originally our Christmas project, which we had to postpone uh, due to uh, unforeseen things. Uh, but we had to postpone it to January 20th. So it is MLK weekend. So we will be... January 20th, Sunday, passing out to the homeless and the less fortunate our love bags. Uh, we will be doing 200 plus. Uh, so we're looking for volunteers. We're looking for items. Uh, and more or less, we're looking for people to spread the word. Uh, after that, we have some other things coming up. And you can actually check on our website to see our calendar, to see any upcoming events that we have. You can also Follow us on social media as well to see anything that we have coming up as well. Can you give them your website and social media uh, handles? Handles, please. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so our website is www. From our hearts. our hearts, and that's yes. hearts with an S, Chicago.com. Our um, Instagram handle is at f o h c underscore inc, and then our Facebook handle is at from our hearts chicago and again that's hearts with a s so thank you ladies for thank joining you, us thank you for having us we thank really you. appreciate you all sharing your story letting our viewers know more about your organization and the dope things that you all are doing to help the homeless communities and now we are transitioning over to our who's the best friend game <laughs> So they are very good friends and have been knowing each other for years. Yes. So we decided to play a quick little game with them to see who is the best friend. Who knows the, the other one the best? So. I think I'm going to win. Oh, Lord. I'm just saying. Here are your involved, I'm winning. Dry erase oh, boards oh, and markers. The so I am going to give them very quickly a... <laughs> Two words, and they have to write down Make what the other one. What are you going to ask oh, after each? I was going to ask after each. Yeah, we can ask after each. Ask Don't after cheat, each. so can you turn that away? This because so you can add all my food. <laughs> not going to happen. So, oh, the first <laughs> I one. I can't see that small. <laughs> okay. So, remember, you're talking about the other person. Gym shoes or heels? So, what she would prefer? Yes. Gym shoes or heels? <laughs> All right, turn, well, first, Candice, what do you say? Oh, wait, wait, not oh, for you. Not for me. What What do you genuinely like? I'm actually heels. What did you say? Heels. Because she don't want to feel short. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I get so insulted. <laughs> so, well, you saw her now. But which one, which one do you normally choose? Heels. Heels. I do that one, too. So... Can you keep points, please? <laughs> one and one. Okay. Can we have one? I'm going to do two more. Okay. What about text or call? <laughs> text or call? 
What was she like? Is she a texter or is she a caller? I absolutely dis despise this. <laughs> so, Candace, which one would you prefer? Call. Call. What did you say, Candace? FaceTime, which is calling. Okay. And what did you, or Candace, what do you, I mean, Lovely, what do you think about I'm weird. If I'm in a funny mood, text me because I'm like, I'm funny. She's okay. funny all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and she <laughs> got it right. <laughs> she will text like, I'm like, I'm driving. You have to call me. Like, <laughs> weird. Last one. Oh, wow. Uh, movie theater or home movie? Hmm. Hmm. Am I doing this by myself? Am I going to the movies by myself? Or am I at home by myself? Would you prefer to be at home watching a movie or going to a theater? Mm -hmm. Bougie theater or regular theater? See what I'm saying? <laughs> this is my family, everybody. <laughs> I love it. All right. Candice, what would you prefer? I prefer... Wait, 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 wait. Cause I was writing for myself. Tick tock. Ask me, me first. Down. All right. <laughs> well, you ready now? Yeah. All right, Candy. What would you prefer? I would prefer movies. To go to the movies. <laughs> All right. Say movies. Yeah. yeah. I have my own answer first. Right. What would you prefer? Home. Home. Wow. <laughs> I guess they are best friends. <laughs> we do have a caller. Oh, wow. Caller, you can come in. Yeah, that was fun. We can hear you. Hello. Hello, caller. How you doing? I just wanted to say, uh, first and foremost, um, shout out to uh, From Our Heart Chicago. It's the great things that you guys are doing. I am Thank you. Thank you. So I definitely take my heads off to you guys. My name is uh, Tatiana Lane. I have a non-profit organization called Just Malloway Mental Health Services, in which we have teamed up with From Our Heart Chicago to also bring uh, educational awareness to the community. Yes. So I just wanted to call in and say you guys are doing a great thing and keep, keep it going. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Tatiana. <laughs> and would you mind holding on for a second to our AK Corner so you can share some of your expertise about we're discussing well, we're discussing a few things next session, next, um, I'm sorry, the next segment, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we would love for you to have to be a part of it. So can you hold on for about one minute so you can be a part of that part? Sure. Thank you. So ladies, we want to thank you all for joining us today. Thank I hope you. you all enjoyed yourselves. We, we found did. out that you all are best friends. <laughs> You proved it. You proved it. And continue to do those dope things. I hope we can do some things together in the future with two organizations because what you all are doing is above and beyond. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So I appreciate you. it. And you Thank all are you. appreciated. So, again, this is From Our Hearts Chicago. We have Lovely and Candice. Thank you again, ladies. And we'll move on to our AK Corner. So now we move. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hold on, move. <clears throat> okay, guys, welcome back to our athletic connection corner. Uh, where we like to chill and hang out and talk about what's going on in the community athletically. So today we wanted to switch to narrative a little bit and uh, talk about something that's growing in our community at an, an alarming rate. And that, that is suicide. So uh, we had a caller that call, that, uh, that's calling in right now that wants to speak about uh, suicide and what we can do, you know, to prevent it, what we can do to, you know, recognize it and just who to talk to and call. So. Uh, caller, please go ahead and chime in about uh, your your expertise on uh, the subject of suicide. How you doing? My name is Rapiana Lane. I How you doing, Miss Lane? Project. How you doing? I'm fine. So I can you tell us project. a little bit? So we've seen a lot of teen suicides going on a lot lately. So what can, do you know of any suggestions that parents 
um, things that parents can do if they see any warning signs or any steps they can take to kind of help their kids a little bit prior to them getting to the point where they want to commit suicide? Well, I want to say the first step that you can do once you witness a warning signs as far as um, elongated periods of sadness or isolation, you should always reach out for help. So um, it's a, co a collective of professionals here in Chicago, also mental health facilities you can reach out to. And there's also one of um, hundred suicide hotlines you can call to reach out to someone to receive help. Ah. Is there any way that you can give us like a list of a, color, a couple of those numbers so we can put on our websites and on our, uh, our uh, Facebook pages so if anyone needs to call into those numbers, they can do so? Yes, I can. Um, Thank you, Tatiana. And I will be contacting you so we can get that information up there because that stuff is so important. And I heard you very quickly. You were saying a couple of things, warning signs. What... What kind of warning signs should parents look for? A lot of warning signs they should look for is long periods of isolation or sadness, or if the individual uh, isn't doesn't take pleasure in things that they used to like doing. Mm -hmm. So those are uh, that warning makes signs. Sense. That makes sense. So thank you very much, Tatiana, for calling in, and I look forward to working with you in the future. We have a, a BBB, a Brilliant Brown Beauties program, where we work with girls that um, lack the necessary behavior management skills needed to be successful in the world. So we're trying to enhance those skills with the girls. So I'm sure there is something that we can work together on to help our beauties become even better beauties. So thank you again, Tatiana, for calling in for our AK Corner. Thank you. And I also want to leave that number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Thank you. Thank it's 1-800-273-8255. 273? 8255. 8255. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And we also will be talking about this uh, subject more on our Facebook and social media sites. So if you want to know more about this uh, information, please contact us. And yes. We'll, we'll handle it. So next up, we're going to switch it up on a high note, and we are going to move to our Kid Bits corner Zoe Brown. <laughs> with Zoe Brown. Of course, we couldn't miss Zoe. She is always so excited about the show, and she is on us about her Kid Bits part. We told her it was our last show, and she was so devastated because she thought Kid Bits had to end. So she decided to create her own YouTube Kid Bits channel. That will be coming soon, and it will be attached to the Brown House Experience YouTube page. So check that out soon. Please do. Please do. So here is Zoe Brown. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kid Bits on Pet TV. I will be your host, Zoe Brown. Today, the experiment will be called Diamonds in the Rock. We'll be making crystal ornaments. For today's diamond in the rough experiment, you'll need a jar with a wide mouth, borax, hot boiling water, a metal spoon for stirring, a tablespoon for measuring, a stick to hang your ornament, and some pipe cleaners. The first step is take a pipe cleaner and form it into whatever kind of shape you like. The second step is take a piece of string or a pipe, another pipe cleaner, and to hang your ornament. The next step is you'll need your jar, ornament, and the stick. So put your ornament on the jar, and then you make sure that the stick is touching the lid. Then make sure that the ornament's not touching the bottom. When it's not touching the bottom, wrap the top of, top of it around and around until there's no more. The next step is to dissolve the borax in a hot water. You'll need six tablespoons of borax and three cups of boiling water. This will help form the crystals on the pipe cleaners.
The next step is to add three cups of hot boiling water with an adult. You have to be very careful when you stir it. The last step is, once the borax is dissolved, very carefully put your ornament in and make sure it's not touching the bottom. You might want to let them sit overnight. In the morning when you wake up, they'll be looking like this. Voila! Your crystallized ornament. Even though today's the last day of the Pet TV show, you can still catch more of me and Kidbits on the Brown Hug Experiences YouTube page. I'll see you soon. Bye! Yes. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just makes you feel so good, don't it? <laughs> our last portion before we head over to our knowledge corner is our neighbor to know. It's Meet the Lism with Scoop and Cachet Phoenix. Check them out. Good people right there. Meet the Lism, a hip hop duo consisting of Scoop and Cachet Phoenix. In addition to being hip-hop artists, the two are also the writing and production team of the Lism Music Group, set to release their project the first quarter of 2019, having written and produced for numerous independent artists. Not only do these two compose music and records, but they are also the hosts of Realism Radio on Ice Cream Media, ESM Radio in Lyle, Illinois. As Realism Radio, their goal is to give underground artists a platform to showcase their talents, as well as showcase all of the arts, be it music, acting, dancing, painting, photography, as well as events happening in the Chicagoland area, and entrepreneurs who want to showcase their businesses. Aside from having a working relationship, the two are also married and pride themselves on being an example of love and how a couple can do both work and play in this industry. As Mr. and Mrs. Reese, they are heavy into philanthropy being a part of the Lakeisha Marie Tanksley Simpson Scholarship Foundation, an organization named after Scoop's older sister, whom passed away from breast cancer at the age of 31. The foundation's goal is to give college students who have had an immediate family member pass away from breast cancer a scholarship towards their college expenses, be it books or whatever it can go towards for that person's education. The Foundation's biannual gala will be June 2nd, 2019. And for more information, feel free to email whoisthelism at gmail.com. I hope you all enjoyed our Neighbor to Know. That was the Lism, Cache <laughs> Phoenix, and Scoop. We appreciate you all. You have always supported us, so we had to show you all some support also. The knowledge corner, we had a deep knowledge corner, so I'll let Nicole take that over real fast because we're about to sign off on our last show. So basically, uh, this week we are talking about a guy named Willie Lynch who actually was brought in by slave owners in, from the West Indies to help uh, basically Negro slaves be able to control themselves so that slave masters wouldn't be losing a lot of money. And so one of the main things that I want to point out uh, that this guy instilled was to attack the woman. And basically they attacked the woman by attacking the man and showing the woman that the man can't protect them and also attacking the woman through body image, self-image, and us uh, uh, making them basically self-hate. It's a really interesting um, story and I, I encourage you guys to go onto our website and look it up and find more about how Willie Lynch actually uh, is still relevant today in the community and how we uh, have a lot of self-hate um, within ourselves. So please, please visit the Brown House experience to find out some more about this and story. we'll put this powerpoint up too yes all right thank you so much for joining us and signing off mm -hmm. on our last show yes <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed all right. Until next time. <laughs>